Hi friends, this is Rhea and once again I welcome you to Remnants Bureau. So today is a very special day for me po because today um, is the first year birthday of my nanay in heaven. November 28th of last year when, when she went uh, home to be with the father and went to her eternal home. So today po I just want to honor her by sharing with you some biblical truths about honoring and loving your parents. Sa lahat ng mga anak dyan, ito po ay para sa inyo. Okay? So now, let's begin. Ang tanong ko, is there anything in the Bible that talks about loving, honoring, and respecting your parents? Of course, there is. In fact, this is the fifth command commandment that we can uh, hear from the Lord. It's actually written in Exodus 20. It says, Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Okay? So, sikat yung verse na yan, ever since bata po tayo uh, sa school, tinuturo yan, tinuturo sa atin ng ating mga lolo't lola, ng ating parents, sa mga matatanda noong unang panahon. So, yan yung verse na alam na alam natin. No? So, kapag yan ay binanggit, automatic honor your father and your mother, alam na natin yan. Pero, ito yung gusto ko sabihin sa inyo mga kapatid, hindi lang po yan ang nag-iisang verse about honoring your parents. Okay? So, napakarami. Alam nyo ba na may mga more than 20 Bible verses that talks about honoring and respecting your parents? Okay, I'll be sharing with you some of those so that you will know na hindi lang pala yun yung sinasabi about, about this particular command. And yes, this is a command to honor your parents. Um, at alam na alam natin yan bilang Kristiyano, Pag may sinabi sa, ang Lord sa Bible na isang beses, nako, importante yan. Pag inulit niya ng dalawang beses, uy, makinig ka. Pero pag pangatlo, pang-apat, pang-limang beses niya sinabi yan, hey, the Lord is really trying to insinuate something and He is telling you to obey this command. Okay? So this time, mababasa natin in some of the verses that I'll be sharing you, hindi lang pala isang beses nagsalita ang Lord about honoring thy father and thy mother. Let's read in Ephesians 6, 2, 3. It says, Honor thy father and your mother, which is the first commandment with the promise, so that it may be well with you, and that you may live long life on live long on the earth. Okay, Deuteronomy 5, 6, it says, Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you, so that your days may be prolonged, and that it may go well with you. On the land which the Lord your God gives you. Matthew 15, 4, it says, for God said, Honor your father and your mother, and he who speaks evil of father or mother is to be put to death. Colossians 3.20 Children, be obedient to your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. Ephesians 6.1 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Leviticus 19.3 Every one of you shall reverence his mother and his father, and you shall keep my Sabbaths. I am the Lord your God. Proverbs 23-22 Listen to your father who begot you, and do not despise your mother when she is old. Proverbs 1-8 Hear, my son, your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. And we can go on and on hanggang sa matapos natin to. So I would encourage you to research on your own those verses that talks about honoring and loving your parents. So, um, now, Rhea, uh, um, why are you reading that? Kasi meron akong gustong itanong sa inyo. So kung ito yung sinasabi ng Lord, very upfront, no? Um, na paulit-ulit niya sinasabi, obey your uh, uh, parents, love your parents, respect thy parents, revere thy parents. Pero bakit kaya nawawala yung paggalang, pagmamahal, pagrespeto sa mga magulang? Bakit kaya sa tingin niyo? Okay, so... Um, if I may just share with you, I this is just based on my observation. No, it could be, uh, 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 it could be, there could be other reasons than this. But I just observe three uh, reasons why respect, reverence, and love for parents are, I don't know, slowly becoming cold and nawawala na, even particularly uh, sa kultura ng Pilipino. And in fact, nidal sa kultura ng Pilipino around the world. Okay? So, number one, ito po yung observation ko. Culture. Okay? We all know that tayo po, we evolve as a country. Um, basically, tayo as Filipinos, we're very respectful and loving to parents. But as 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 time goes by, as uh, through the years, no, we evolve as a country. We've been exposed to different cultures. But the sad thing though is that 
when we were exposed to cultures, hindi lang natin in-embrace yung culture na mabuti, pati yung culture na hindi kagandahan. And that includes yung equal um, treatment or disrespectful treatment to parents. No? So mga kapatid, I just want you to know, um, I just want you to know that we are not equal with our parents. Parents, ha our parents have special anointing from the Lord. Okay? They have been given a special task to raise the godly men and women of God. So, ito yung mga special ass assignment ng mga magulang natin. And they have that mandate sa puso nila nakatanim yun. Even without them knowing it, nakatanim yun the moment they become parents. No? They have been entrusted by the seed with the, in the womb, by, uh, uh, the seed of the Lord. Ito yung womb na binless ng Lord na nagbigay sa ating buhay, sa atin lahat, no? So the moment they conceive a child, no, they the mandate already gave, was given to them. The anointing was already given to them. And us children, we have been given naman the commandment to obey and respect them. Okay? Hindi tayo equal. So some of the people that we know they treat their parents as barkada, kaibigan, no? Well, wala namang masama dun if you treat your parents as as your sister. Um, as kaibigan lang, especially when you're already matured or you're already an adult, right? But, you know what? If to the point or extent na nagiging kaibigan mo siya, na minsan nasasaktan mo siya, whether physically, nasasaktan mo yung parents mo physically or um, verbally, then that's not right, mga kapatid. Okay? In Matthew 15:4, if I may just share with you, God said, Honor your father and your mother and he who speaks evil of father or mother is is to be put is to be put to death okay anyone who speaks bad to their parents is to be put to death sabi ng bible yan sabi ni jesus yan in matthew 15:4 yung death na word dito from greek word comes it it means that it, it comes from the greek word thanatos thanatos which literally means Literally, to die literally or figuratively. Okay? So, if you speak bad to your parents, no? And, and if you disrespect your parents, death is what you reap. If, if that's what you saw, you will reap death. Yun death dito, it could be physical death. I don't know what kind of death is that, but the Bible says, Tanatos, you mean, it means you die literally. No? It means loss of life. Or, figuratively, it means dying internally meaning you're alive but you're dead inside no parang it could be wala, nawawala ng pangarap malungkot i don't know um only the person who has disrespect sa parents sila malalaman nila parang there's so much emptiness sa buhay nila because they don't respect their parents that that's what you reap if you don't respect your parents the bible says you will be put to death so mga kapatid don't treat your parents as your equal na parang dabar cards lang po natin. Treat them with reverence. Mamiya, I will talk about what what is the difference between respect and reverence. Later, I will talk about that. I'll touch on that. Okay? Second reason na na-observe ko po, bakit po nawawala ng respect ang mga bata or ang mga anak sa kanila magulang, it's because of pride. Okay? Pride, um, this normally happens when a person, when an adult, when a, an adult child becomes the breadwinner of the family no just because you uh, just because you now uh, provide for the family doesn't give you the right to disrespect your parent okay or your parents okay so sometimes children we tend to forget our place we tend to switch roles with our parents we tend to look down on our parents na oh i, I just give you i just support you now no i just support you now no you have no right to speak to me no, no, mga kapatid, wag. As children, even if we provide for our parents, we are still under the authority of our parents. No, Jesus first, parents. If you're single, that's your authority, and then the children. If you are married, you uh, the Lord, and then the husband, and then the wife. Sa ating mga single, uh, it's the it's the Lord, the parents, and the children. So you are still under the authority of your parents. So you don't have the right. To treat them um, indifferently or treat them with disrespect, even if you're the one providing for them. Okay, so um, Leviticus 19:3 says, "Every one of you shall reverence his mother and father." The Lord said that. 
So the word reverence there comes from the Greek word yaure, which means to fear, to be afraid, to tremble before them, to reverence, to respect. Okay, sabi natin kanina, I'll share with you anong difference ng, ng, ng respect and reverence. There is a huge difference between respect and reverence. Respect is trying just simply becoming being nice, being kind. You can be nice and kind to your family, to your loved ones, and even to strangers. But reverence is different. Reverence is deep respect. Reverence is rooted from the spirit. It is something spiritual, right? You are respecting, you are honoring, you are loving your parents, not just because you have to, but because you are. You are obeying the Lord out of your spirit, out of the abundance of your love for the Father. From the Lord your God, you are giving the respect that your parents deserve. Okay? It's, the, it, it's not because, ay, magulang ka eh, anak lang ako. No. Um, you are giving respect because they deserve to be respected. Because God said you respect them. Because it is the command of the Lord. Yun yung, yun yung kaibahan ng reverence compared to respect. Okay? Respect can be inconsistent, but reverence is consistent because it starts from within. Alright? Okay, so may tanong sa akin, Rhea, may, may, may sabi may nagtanong sa akin, no? so paano mo naman irirespeto yung ta magulang mo na, na parang wala nang ginawang tama sa buhay nila or, or inasa na yung, sarili, yung buhay nila sa ating mga anak na parang, Uh, malakas naman sila, hindi na sila nagtrabaho Okay, merong proper platform Merong proper way to discuss matters with them To seek help Pero again, um, lahat ng bagay na dadaan sa usapan Pero hindi dapat da, Lagi nyo natadaan, hindi dapat umabot sa pagiging disrespectful sa iyo bilang anak Okay? You can always say uh, your peace, your, your thoughts Pero in a respectful manner Okay? Misa kasi para may nagsabi sa akin yung Corinthians 2.14 ito. Sabi dun, children are not responsible to save up for their parents. So yun yung katwiran nila, ay nako, hindi ko tutulungan yung magulang ko. Bahala sila sa buhay nila. <laughs> no? Kasi ito yung ginagamit nilang verse. Hmm, well, sinasabi ng Lord na, yes, it is really not uh, your responsibility. But remember, the Bible also says that what you, see is, what you reap is what you sow. Okay, if you reap good to your parents, uh, you will, uh, uh, you will, uh, if you sow good to your parents, you will reap good as well. Okay, and remember, according to Ephesians, pinasak natin kanina, Ephesians uh, 6, 2 to 3, honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment that comes with the promise. Okay, after the four commandments were given in Exodus 20, this is the fifth commandment that comes with the promise. So that, ano yung promise? Sabi dito, if you obey your parents, so that it may be well with you and that you may live long on the earth. Dalawa yung promise na yan. Everything will be well with you. Kahit anong da panaghihirap, pag pinagdadaanan mo, all things will work out for your good. If you are good to your parents, pag mabuti ka sa magulang mo, all things will work out for your good. And then you will live long on the earth. Okay? Deut Deuteronomy 5.16, it says, I 5.16, it says, Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you that your days may be prolonged. You will have long life and that it may go well with you on the land which the Lord your God gives you in whatever um, assignment that the Lord gives you, whether it is in career, in your relationship, everything you touch will prosper. Everything that you do will grow. That is the Lord's promise. If you are good to your parents, apakadaming Napakadaming pangako ng Panginoon, no? Uh, pero ito yung klase ng pangako na straightforward yung sinabi na kapag mabuti ka sa magulang mo, ito ang gagawin ko sa'yo. Huwag niyo kalimutan yung mga kapatid. Alright? And last, reason based on my observation na nakikita ko bakit maraming mga anak na hindi na nagre-respect sa kanilang magulang, it's because of unforgiveness, no? Um, we do not discount the pain of people. That's one thing for sure. Um, there are some of uh, people who grew up talagang so much pain sa kanilang mga magulang, no? Talagang, I know some people na talagang lumaking bugbog sarado, physically abused, Um, some people 
sexually abused or na rape ng kanilang magulang or simply na abandoned, pinabayaan, iniwan para sa pa, para sa panibagong pamilya. So these people grew up with hatred and anger in their hearts, no? I should know, believe me, it's not easy to forgive being um uh, growing up without a father. It's not easy, but with the help of the Lord, you will be able to forgive. With the help of the Lord, if you will just do it on your own, magpapatawad ka just because yun ang sabi ng flesh mo, dahil yun ang feeling mo tama, you can't do it. You will fail. But if you ask the Lord, your God, our God, to help you forgive and ask the Holy Spirit to empower you and help you forgive, it will be easy for you to forgive in God's time. In God's time. no? So, um, hindi madali yung pinagdadaanan, no? lalo na yung mga talaga may physical abuse and sexual sexual abuse, kawawa sila. Tayo nga mga, tayo that we grew up alone uh, without a father, yung mga fatherless, ang dami-daming fatherless sa buong mundo, no? So, um, um, isipin mo parang, huh, magagalit ako, no? Hindi po, wag po tayong magalit, no? Um, uh, just like us, uh, pero silang pagkakamali, uh, but that doesn't give us the right to to hold no the forgiveness, to hold back forgiveness. We should freely give forgiveness. But if you can't forgive yet, dahil sobra kang nasaktan, sobra kang nagalit, um, mingi ka sa Lord ng tulong para makapagpatawad. That is doable. I am telling you, it is very doable. Kayang-kaya yan ng Lord. Kayang-kaya baguhin ng Lord at palambutin ng puso mong matigas. <laughs> Alright? So, um, another thing. Um, sabi dito sa Matthew 6.15, I just want you to remember this. Matthew 6.14 and 6.15, basahin niyo. Pero sa, I want to highlight Matthew 6.15. Sabi dito, But if you forgive not men with their trespasses, no? if you do not forgive people or men with their sins, with their trespasses, and sabi ng Lord, neither will I forgive you. If you do not forgive, I will not forgive you too. Okay? So, if you feel that you can't forgive, it's hard for you to forgive, then always remember this verse. If you don't forgive, whether parents mo yan or ibang tao, the Lord will also not forgive you. The Bible says that. Okay? Um, especially pag sa mga parents, yung mga ibang anak talaga, I, I, I know some people na talagang sobrang galit sa parents nila. At meron pa ako naririnig, even sa mga movies, di ba? Hindi ko gagawin yung ginawa mo, hindi ko gagawin yung ginawa mo sa akin sa mga anak ko. Pero pag sila'y nagkaanak, ginawa din nila yung ginawa ng magulang nila. Why? Kasi meron kang un, 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 unresolved issue sa puso mo na hindi mo na, na close, no? So, whether you like it or not, kahit anong gawin mo na hindi mo gagawin sa anak mo yung ginawa sa'yo na magulang mo, at certain extent, magagawa mo yun. Mapapass on mo yung anger, mapapass on mo yung, yung, yung cycle ng pain and anger sa mga next generation, sa mga anak mo. Kahit ayaw mo, magagawa at magagawa mo. Why? Kasi may unresolved issue ka. Kaya yung unresolved issue na yan, yung open door na yan na may unforgiveness, isara mo na. Hingin mo sa Lord na maisara. Para yung mga tao may unforgiveness, magkaroon ng kaparaanan at kakayahan na mag maging respectful sa mga magulang. So yung tatlong reason na basically in my lifespan, no, parang yun yung na-observe ko sa buhay ko at sa ibang tao. Uh, bakit nawawala yung mga respect nila sa parents nila. Pero alam niyo mga kapatid, kahit anong pagkukulang na magulang natin, magulang pa rin natin sila. Remember, when we were born, we were helpless. Sila yung talagang nagtatrabaho, nag-iingat para sa atin, nag-aalaga, hindi natutulog. No? So, um, it is but right for you and I to pay them respect, to give what's due for them. Now, if you are an adult and you're earning, tama yung sinasabi da, dito sa sa Corinthians 12.14, no? Hindi mo responsibilidad na pag-ipunan yung magulang mo. But, remember, if you are still good, sabi nga sa Ephesians 6, uh, uh, Ephesians 6, no? Um, 2 to 3, if you are kind to your parents, you, it will, everything will be, will go well with you. Um, and you will live life long on the earth. And what you sow is what you reap. If you re if you sow good, things to your parents, you will reap good things. And when you, one day, you will also become a parent yourself. So, your children will also do good things for you because you model them 
uh, you portray the kind uh, the kind of parent uh, the kind of child you are to your parents so your children when they grow up because you set the example they will follow your ways okay and they will be kind to you as well when you are already old and weak they will take care of you okay so Ayan po, <laughs> yun lang. Always love your parents no matter what. Hindi sila perfecto. May mga pagkakataon na kulang sila. Pero hanggat kaya nyo pigilin yung mga bibig nyo, huwag nyo po silang sagutin. Hanggat kaya nyo pong, hanggat kaya nyo pong, um, hanggat kaya nyo pong magtiis. Parang sabi nga, eh, kailangan mong, uh, parang sa kahit anong relasyon, kailangan mo lagi ng pagpapatawad. Minsan masasaktan ka ng parents mo, verbally or with their actions, lalo na kung adult ka, let it go. Let it go. Uh, wag mo patulad, lalo na when they're old, makulit na sila, let it go. Kasi when you lost, or when you lose them, pag wala na sila sa earth, you will remember every single thing about them. And you will miss them so much. And no matter how much you miss them, you can never think. You, they will never return. <laughs> no, they will never return. So cherish every single day, every single moment of your life with your family, with your parents. Love them as much as you can. Respect them with all your heart. No, They deserve that. After all of the things that they have done for you, all the sacrifices they give for you, it's about time that you return them the favor, the honor, the love, the, the respect, the reverence that they deserve. Alright? So, I hope you've learned again something, mga kapatid. I love you. And I, uh, I, I believe with all my heart na um, some of you... Um, have struggles uh, may have struggles in dealing kindly to your parents but I know with all my heart that you love them dearly so let love prevails let love for your parents prevail and most of all let your love for the Lord prevails because if you love the Lord with all of your heart everything that will that you will do on a daily basis will flow from that love uh, to God it will flow um, because the love of God is in you it will flow naturally so let the love of the Lord flows from you to you through you so that you can freely love people around you especially your parents all right ayan dami ko na sinabi so salamat and dito idudugtong ko dito yung short video ko para makilala niyo naman ang aking uh, mahal na nanay okay and i hope um, if this video bless you please share this to your friends your family your loved ones and um, please consider subscribing po sa YouTube channel po natin and, and uh, dito sa Facebook po natin. Maraming salamat. God bless you. I love you all. Bye!